While True Detective, Night Country wasn't perfect, the show's season 5 renewal proves that the outing provided what seasons 2 and 3 were missing. When True Detective first aired in 2014, it was a massive hit with critics. A pitch-black murder mystery with a slow burn story that moved fluidly between two timelines, True Detective Season 1 took its time uncovering the story of Rust Cole, Marty Hart, and the unsolved case that ruined their lives. The final episode skipped ahead to the present day, finally providing Hart and Cole with answers to the mystery that haunted them for decades. Although seasons 2 and 3 failed to recapture the unique tone of the series, True Detective Season 4 arrived to better reviews and some of the show's best ratings ever. Night Country told the story of Liz Danvers and Evangeline Navarro, two detectives who unearth a bizarre, murky conspiracy after a group of research scientists disappear from a research station in Alaska. This premise allowed Night Country to bring back a thematic preoccupation that was mostly absent from seasons 2 and 3, and it was this missing ingredient that made season 4 such a success despite its uneven storytelling. True Detective Supernatural Story made it a success. Seasons 1 and 4 of the HBO hit needed their horror elements. For all of Night Country's problems, True Detective Season 4 succeeded due to the show's regained focus on supernatural horror. Compared to Season 1 and Night Country, Seasons 2 and 3 were too grounded. Although they featured some larger-than-life characters, neither season delved back into the world of supernatural horror in a meaningful sense. True Detective, Night Country's ending avoided turning the series into a full-blown horror show by keeping its supernatural elements somewhat ambiguous and offering a plausible explanation for everything, but season 1 did the same with its surprisingly subdued finale, which didn't ruin either ending. The dark, occult details made viewers fall in love with True Detective Season 1, as these elements differentiated the show from its competitors. Although Night Country featured less lengthy excursions into philosophical nihilism, Season 4 did return to the show's horror themes. The influence of authors like Lovecraft, Thomas Ligotti, and even Algernon Blackwood can be found throughout Seasons 1 and 4, which could explain why Night Country's ratings improved compared to Seasons 2 and 3. The response to True Detective Season 4's ending suggests the show should take this even further and double down on the supernatural approach. True Detective Seasons 2 and 3 forgot the show's supernatural roots. True Detective Season 1's follow-ups were more grounded and less fun. Where Night Country featured the dead communicating with the living and mysterious occult symbols popping up throughout Alaska, Seasons 2 and 3 were much more grounded. Although the outings both had other flaws, this normality was the primary problem that led to their middling reception. It soon became apparent that True Detective Season 2's downbeat tone wasn't linked to anything out of the ordinary, and the story of corrupt cops getting involved with a political conspiracy just wasn't as thrilling as the search for a seemingly supernatural serial killer. Similarly, Season 3's ghostly visitation turned out to be a dementia hallucination. There were logical explanations for True Detective Season 4's supernatural elements, but the show didn't over-explain its trippier elements, and a lot of big questions were left unanswered in the finale. This mirrored Season 1's ending, where Carcosa was briefly glimpsed before the killer was caught and killed, but the conspiracy that allowed him to get away with murder for decades was still never fully uncovered. In contrast, True Detective Seasons 2 and 3 offered tidier explanations for any minor strangeness, disregarding anything resembling full-on horror, and failed to keep viewers engaged as a result.